we are in the procedure. But we are inviting you under the principle of natural justice. Uh, several issues keep emerging. Uh, the permanent secretary, we need you to respond. I think the letter was very clear. I've seen you have come with a work plan, which you have been waiting for. <coughs> but we also need you to tell us how you authorized the engineer to start paying uh, the companies that were shipping goods from Kampala to Entebbe. Those are documents and furniture through uh, fuel um, and several other issues that may emerge. There's also an issue of uh, <coughs> procurement. In the previous meeting, we were told by the former procurement officer, Mr. Achuera, that the process of acquiring a contractor to do renovation started with the uh, um, there was another company, I just seem to forget the name, Ambitious, a company called Ambitious, and when it did not return, or when it did not show any interest, you decided to go for another process, start another process. It has now come to, attend to the attention of this committee that according to the documents that were submitted, you started two procurements at the same time using restricted bidding. You invited three companies at each procurement process, all to do renovation. The date of submission of the bid was the same, the date of closing the bid. Now I want you to explain to us <coughs> how is it possible that for renovation two processes were started share with you the documents you gave us if you need to, um, if you need to refresh your memory, if you need to clarify on that matter. So I want you to explain to us the issue of those procurements. Uh, we also need to tell to explain to us how people, because it may be happening in the Ministry of Trade, but it could be happening in other ministries. How are these public servants withdrawing cash from your petrol stations. Are you aware of this? Um, we also need you to give us copies of uh, the transactions for the Ministry of Trade since 2021 to date so that we can reconcile with what uh, the Ministry of Trade has given us. But basically we want to understand <coughs> How is a reputable company like Total? I'll give you an example. There is an, uh, there is an allegation that three staff who are also here today to defend themselves under the right to a fair hearing, under the, as provided for in the law. How is someone going, for example, to petrol station in Kabusu, withdrawing about two million shillings in the morning? another two million shillings at midday, another two million shillings in the evening, and another two million at night, using the same fuel card. Uh, the engineer, when he appeared for us in the previous meeting, he confessed that they are actually getting cash at this petrol station. Now, before we make a recommendation, we need to understand, are you aware that at your petrol stations, people are withdrawing cash. Uh, <coughs> you will tell us. The, the officers, Everest, Rose, and Nelson, we are accused to have withdrawn 371 million using different cards. Some of you are believed to have four cards at that time, financial 2021-2022. According to what the, the current transport officer told us, each of you is allocated about 500,000 per month, which I think is also a bit high. But each of you is allocated 500,000 per month, and on a conservative estimation, that is about 6 million per year. Now, 
want you to tell us under what circumstances did you get 371? Who allocated you this fuel to a tune of 371? Who is issuing these fuel cards anyway? So you are here basically to give us your side of the story. We have furniture companies, two of them, Bootsteps Furniture and uh, Nila. It's an allegation that you are given money to supply furniture to the ministry. And without using cosmetic language, you supplied air. This was in 2021. Uh, I believe we have access to bank statements. So it is actually true that you are given money, at least for footsteps. I have not yet accessed the bank statement for NIA, uh, but since you are here, you will give us whatever you think, you will give us whatever information you think. Maybe you didn't get this money, maybe you have never dealt with the ministry, but if at all you supplied, now what to reverse the process? How did you get this contract to supply furniture? Was there bidding? Did you deliver? If you delivered, do you have a delivery note? Who signed the delivery note? How are you paid? Do you have a contract with the Ministry of Trade to supply this furniture? So basically, you are here today to be given a fair hearing. We don't want to have a report. Uh, Geraldine has been here before, but new issues have emerged. So we had to invite her back to get her signed. But in a summary, I want to tell you, of course, Total is not part of the ministry and these other companies, but those from the ministry, your internal wrangles are the reasons as to why this investigation seems not to end. Every day someone comes with a totally different issue, allegation. So we have to backtrack to prove whether it is true whether it is false, we are now spending the taxpayers' money. The, there's a camp, I believe, that uh, from the interactions, the camp that left the ministry. There's a camp that is still in the ministry. There are camps, I believe, that are with the PS. There are camps that are fighting the PS. These internal wrangles are really draining our energy and taxpayers' money. Everyone who comes, after they leave, they send a different document with different allegations. We start afresh, we backtrack. Uh, Rose, apart from the fuel they, they, they claim you do, you have an issue of the money because according to works, the contract total sum of renovation, according to the estimates, was 4.6 billion. Now, someone came to you and told you your boss, who is next to you on your right, was not in office. And they convinced you to sign Form 5, which had 6.2 billion. Now, we have interacted with the evaluation committee, we have interacted with the contracts committee to establish how. At what process did, at what point in time did the money move from 4.6 to 6.2? They all seem to point their fingers at you. They say Form 5 came with 6.2, and therefore we knew we had the resources and we awarded a contract for 6.2. So, according to the investigation so far, you seem to be the one who was responsible for inflating, whether unknowingly or knowingly, the cost of renovation from 4.6 to 6.2 billion, all because they convinced you that your boss was not around, and therefore you needed to sign a document of urgency. So you need to also, this may be the last opportunity, you need to also tell us, Maybe you have a different side of the story. So this is the, uh, the last opportunity, opportunity for you to defend yourself. Kindly use it. If you need to go and get documents to support whatever you're going to tell us, we can give you one hour or two to go and get whatever you need to come to this committee 
and give us the information we need. Now, without wasting much of your time, I have seen the PS has a very long presentation regarding the work plan, and it may attract so many questions. But 60 per, if not 80 percent of the people in the room here have issues related to fuel. So, I kindly request the PS to first address the issue of the fuel and the engineer in as far as renovation is concerned. Then we shall have uh, the gentlemen also who are working with the ministry tell us something, then we have to turn, and we can go back after we have completed the fuel. We can go back to the rest of the issues related to the work plan.